Our next researcher is Andrea Damascelli. Andrea. Uh, welcome, everyone. So what I'm going to uh, tell you today is work that I'm doing in collaboration with a group of, uh, of David Jones. Okay, here I am. So I'm going to tell you about the work that the two groups are, are doing together. Didi and I are both professor in, uh, in physics and astronomy, but we are also faculty members in the Quantum Matter Institute here on the UBC campus. What we do uh, is to study quantum materials. These are systems like superconductors, magnets, graphene, uh, topological insulators. I hope you have heard some of these words. And what we, are, what we are after are actually the microscopic interactions between the electrons in these materials and other excitations like vibration of the atoms or magnetic excitations which give rise to the emergent phenomena that this material exhibit. In order to do that, we, we use a, a technique which is called angle resolve for the emission spectroscopy, which is based on the photoelectric effect described by Einstein, which in fact was uh, highlighting the quantum nature of, of light, but also the quantum nature of matter. <clears throat> based on, on this effect, well, we are shining light on a sample, the photons are absorbed by electrons, electrons are emitted, and we measure them with an laser that can collect the energy and really look at the motion of those electrons in the solid. What we are seeing there uh, is a, a setup unique in the world, which was developed in, uh, in uh, David Joe's group and in collaboration with my own, where you see not just one photon impinging on a sample, you actually see two different photons which are coming in with a delay, a, a low energy photon, the red one, and a, which goes and excites the material that we are studying, and a high energy photon, the purple one, which now photoemits the electrons. So this is probing the material. So basically we do what is called a pump and probe experiment. This is actually uh, a system that, uh, it's, as I said, is unique in the world, very few lasers of this kind. It allows not only to look at the electronic structure of the solid, but also allows to look at the dynamics of those electrons. An example is shown there on the side. On the, on the side. This is work that was done by, by Katie, a student in our group, and Art, a, a staff scientist in our group. They look at materials like uh, graphene, the monatomic layer of carbon atoms, and they look at how electrons interact with the vibration of the atoms. These are called phonons. And so this is what uh, gives rise to electron phonon coupling. And for the first time working at the time domain, they could extract a very precise measure of the electron phonon coupling parameter. And that's extremely important because is this parameter that, for instance, can give rise, if it's large enough, to superconductivity. This is only one of the examples. We, in the last couple of years, since the system came online, we've done a lot. So I really hope that you can reach out to us, come visit, to learn more about it. And so please reach out to me, David, Art, and, uh, and Katie, and we're happy to talk to you. Thanks. Okay, thank you.